Hi everyone, Josie here, Life at 50 and Beyond. Thanks for joining me here in my channel. Today I'm going to be cleaning and reorganizing our refrigerator. Every couple of months I do deep cleaning of our refrigerator. Since it's time for a major cleanup, it has been a couple of months since I cleaned it, I am going to show you how. And also I want to let you know that this video is sponsored by Gonex and I will do a review of it, an initial first impression review towards the end of this video. It's actually a car organizer and the reason why I'm going to do this review here is because whenever we do a cleanup of our refrigerator, especially the deep cleaning, we time it when we are replenishing our supplies. But first I'm going to go ahead and clean up the refrigerator and then prior to putting back the items I removed, I'm going to go ahead and do the review of this product. try to use them to organize inside the refrigerator and I mentioned during that haul and I'm going to be inserting it in the upper right hand corner that you have to look at those containers that are food safe okay so anything that you can use because you know those that are not food safe may still have some kind of chemical bleed through it can affect your food and then you're going to be ingesting it 
So just stay safe on those. Now, Dollar Tree has a lot of containers. I cannot guarantee you this is food safe, okay? I, it's really nice. It can fit those smaller areas, but it is sold not in the food section. It's in the container aisle that may be next to a food container aisle, but they're not all together. So this one, unless marked otherwise, I don't think it's safe to say that this is food safe. So um, what I put here were candy bars, candy bars that were wrapped. And yeah, maybe put something that's sealed or wrapped, like these candy bars. These are protected enough. But don't put anything like, let's say those tomatoes. Cut onions, cut tomatoes, vegetables, or even those exposed, anything exposed, okay? I think this one is perfect for these condiments because they're wrapped, but I'm going to clean this first. But I just want to show you. This will fit, see? It's like a bin for them. It's, it's, it's like they're made for, for these kind of things. As mentioned earlier, I'm going to go ahead and do my first impression review of the Gonex car organizer. And what we're going to use this for is actually to put our perishable or frozen items that we purchase whenever we do our groceries. And this has this bottom protection here to make it sturdier. And it also comes with two dividers. So you can use this actually without the dividers, but if you want to separate or uh, probably create partitions depending on what you are going to purchase, like in our case, we might want to put uh, you know, the meat items in one section, the dairy items in another section so that they don't kind of get mixed up. So I just want to show you that this is very spacious. It is about a similar size of a probably a regular or average size igloo. What I like about this one is that it can stand up like this and then you'll just zip up the top and close it and seal it when you put also your frozen items. So we use the gel packs or the ice packs. You can buy this also at Dollar Tree during warmer months during summer, you know, when it's barbecue season. I like this container a lot because it doesn't eat up so much space inside our trunk or at the back of our SUV. We can just fold it when not in use and we can tuck it on the side. And it is not only for frozen items, you can use it also for other things that you want to organize. So earlier today, even before I started cleaning up the refrigerator, my husband and I went to Costco already to get our groceries. So I just want to show you that before we went, I already placed our gel packs or, you know, the ice packs and then set it up this way. And this is the shot after we came back. We only have some items that are non-frozen and they, we didn't put them inside that container anymore. And I liken this container or this organizer as like those ice chests, like an igloo. However, this one collapses or folds when not in use. So again, it is a space saver. So it can hold a lot. Actually, there's still a lot of space left and we already bought quite a few items here. I'm just going to show you a few items that we got and then also I'm going to put just for size a gallon of milk and silk that we already have that I took out of the refrigerator earlier so that you see it for size comparison. This comes in three piece set that includes this lunch bag that you can put your lunch boxes if you're working or in the car the middle console you could probably put some cold drinks there if you want to and then this one here is for your toiletries that you can hang at the back of the seat in front of you this one has a hook so the initial verdict on this one i like it a lot my husband likes it a lot now i can only give you a first impression i don't know how durable it is or how long before it also gets damaged right so i don't know about the wear and tear on this one i cannot give you that this is just a first impression review and i'll be putting in the description box below the link directly that will take you to the product as well as the discount coupon that you can use so that you can avail of some discounts in case again you're interested now let me just show you the clean interiors of our refrigerator say clean interiors because the exterior i still need to wipe off and buff 
with that stainless steel but let me just show you how the refrigerator looks like now now here's how it looks like and it is really amazing how a little bit of washing a little bit of purging can do and I have two containers here that I'm using to corral items so I'm putting the spreadables you know those uh, dairy items on a shallow container and those candies or chocolates in that food safe container this one is from Daiso this is a dollar fifty I like this container a lot because you can lift the lid like so without completely removing the lid and I'm using all these lunch boxes some from Dollar Tree some are reusing some of those deli packaging or cold cuts packaging uh, we got groceries and just using them I know that a lot of people frown on using plastics but if we don't use them then we might end up throwing them away which will be more detrimental to the environment because we're going to be adding to the landfill I like this packaging a lot this is a ziplock a jumbo ziplock from Dollar Tree packaging them this way made them stay fresher in our opinion when we refrigerate them so that they don't go bad fast and this is what I've done with the drawer bins the first ones for the cold cuts just like this one this is the packaging that it came with and then we're going to reuse that again later and someday maybe we will replace them with glass but right now we're reusing the plastics and here are our cheese this is just designated drawer for the cheese and I've used those two bins or containers that are food safe that I got at Dollar Tree so even the shredded cheese all types of cheese you can find we love our cheese then the bottom drawer the very bottom one it's for our veggies I think I need to stock up some more and yeah so on the one by the door or behind the door on the top we put some of the packets or condiment seasonings and then a lot of all our bottled items for example this milk and even the carton milk and then all of this kind of syrup and whipped cream and then some sauces as well as garnishes and let me show you the freezer section this is how it looks like this is a Dollar Tree container or bin and I put there some of the frozen TV dinners just in case we didn't have time to cook and here on the second shelf I have this pull out basket that I got at Daiso for $1.50 but you can find something similar at Dollar Tree as well and then on the right side that's where we store the frozen water in our own water bottles so that when we go to the gym we can just grab them and then pour a little bit of warmer water and then it's so refreshing so we place them in a basket or kind of like a magazine basket bin that I also got at Daiso for $1.50 below it I have two smaller pull-out baskets also from Daiso and then below that is another Dollar Tree basket where I put some of our frozen items here some are wonton wrappers some are you know grilled chicken breast and then below that is one of the two drawers and I got more frozen items here meatballs and then also some wontons and then below that I have some frozen cassava fruit and I even froze some of the grape tomatoes to make them into sauces later and then on the side here behind the door uh, below the ice maker are some of our gel packs that we use for our for our lunch boxes as well as our ice chest here's how the finished better looking and clean more organized refrigerator for freezer as well as non-frozen section how it looks like it doesn't have to cost you an arm and a leg to organize your refrigerator I know this may not be Pinterest worthy but at least it works for us and it's cleaner and neater 
So that's it everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. Don't forget to click that notification bell icon after you click that subscribe icon so that you will not miss any of my new videos. And to all returning subscribers, don't forget to share this video to your friends as well as leave some comments down below and let me know what you think about this method of cleaning and organizing the refrigerator and freezer. Take care everyone. I hope to talk to you again on my next video. God bless. Bye-bye.